Hi friends, hello in the world. Welcome back to this episode of Complaint Free Life with you, your host, Esel Ormonova, now from um, the Italy house. <laughs> so you can see that I've traveled quite a bit lately and now I'm finally at home. So I'm uh, feeling a bit better um, after all this grief and uh, funeral. So I'm, um, I'm getting a bit uh, rested as well. So I am grateful that this is what's happening currently, that it's a bit of the um, a peace that um, entered. So uh, today's topic that I wanted to talk about is feeling stuck. And I heard this many times from uh, uh, humanitarians that I uh, dearly love. And also I remember so many times of my own experience of feeling stuck. And I wanted to talk about um, not only the consequences of that um, feeling stuck, uh, but also the origins of it and how to get out of it, basically. So to start with, whenever we're feeling stuck, especially this may happen, obviously, when we're transitioning, right? So we are going through a transitioning process and we... Uh, we're wanting to have certain results or we were expecting something to happen and that didn't happen and our brain only um, offers to us the either or options either you're going to fail or you have to do something or the the feeling of stuck of course can also come from um, the reasons why we started transitioning in the first place which is at work where we were where we thought that um, there are no options because uh, because of this uh, person or because of the colleague, because of the um, uh, boss uh, that we don't like, that uh, we feel like we are stuck and we don't really know what to do. We can't really quit, but we also um, don't really uh, want to stay where we are, uh, even though we like our job, but because of uh, the constellation of certain people in that uh, job that I'm not really enjoying and my job is not bringing fulfillment that I used to, or even more so that um, we feel like we are dealing with um, intrigues or we are dealing with the discussions around personalities rather than doing the job and we feel like we're stuck, right? So there's so many different instances where this feeling of stuck comes in. Uh, and I'm not saying that this is only in our um, field where we work, obviously, it comes in every other um uh, sphere where we work, but still I want to focus, uh, concentrate on the transitioning part of feeling stuck and what to do next, um, where you feel like you are doing all the things of what's necessary, what's required for you to be performing your job well, or for you to find the job you want to, yet you don't really have a success and you feel like hitting the wall and there is nothing happening. So I, I hope that I was able to describe things uh, that is relatable to you. So once that happens or when it happens, right, um, we really believe that this is what it is, that there are no other options. So either this or that type of option, but we don't really like either of them as well. So what to do next? And if you look at the consequences of that type of um uh, feeling of um, being stuck is the consequences of it is that we don't really have an energy. We don't really want to do things we want to do. Excuse me. We're barely doing things um, or trying to escape to certain things. Uh, we are uh, exhausted most of the time or frustrated. Um, we feel like um, the world is against us. Um, uh, we really think that um, this is going to have a toll on our health and probably it will as well if we continue being in that state of mind and in that uh, feeling of uh, stuck. And basically, um, we are just making things so heavy for our lives that we don't really um, enjoy our lives, right? So that's the feeling of where you're just hitting the wall and nothing's happening. And these are the consequences that I think are so um, heavy and so difficult to process 
that we don't really have any um, energy to do anything about it. And it feels like we are just giving up or it feels like we are just moving with the motion barely and uh, seeing what happens. Or we feel like we need to make a drastic change, but we don't really have energy to change anything. So whenever these type of um, feelings of uh, stuck added with frustration, disappointment, um, exhaustion, and many other feelings, then it becomes so difficult to see that um, feeling of stuck is something that we keep generating. And I understand that it's so difficult to see it, but in the end of the day, the good news is that we are generating that feeling. And if we are generating that feeling, we can also stop generating it or we can look at it at least how we can stop generating it. So whenever um, this feeling occurs, the, the best thing for us all could be that we take time to look at really what's going on with us, within us. And the way we could do it is in so many different ways. Um, but the if we look at the feeling stuck from the perspective of, yes, this happened to me and um, I don't know what to do and this is how life is, it's so bad and all of this stuff, then we are unlikely to go to a solution that we want, right? So there, I think that what I'm saying is that there are two ways to look at feeling stuck from the perspective of going down the line of that thinking and of that feeling and then seeing all these consequences of that feeling and then saying, oh, this is how it is. Life is tough. We can't really do anything about it. But there is also another totally opposite way of thinking or opposite way of looking at it is, which is knowing or recognizing that we are generating that feeling and we're generating that feeling also from the certain beliefs that we're holding to be true, beliefs that we're not even questioning or beliefs that we're not even recognizing that they're beliefs. And once you really realize that, once we learn that this is what it is, then we can start doing and leveraging and making changes. Unless we recognize that this is the feeling that we're generating and this is the feeling that's being generated by a uh, thought that we're believing so much to be true or by a belief that we're believing so much to be true, unless we recognize that, we will not be able to do anything about it. So if you are in this feeling of stuck and you have gone down the line of how bad things are, pitying yourself and questioning yourself, uh, doubting yourself, um, uh, questioning your qualifications, your experiences, uh, your all the things that you've done so far and all of this stuff, then you already know how that um road looks like right you already know what that is like so you have done it you've experienced it you know what it is like so no need to repeat that again or no need to go that line again and whenever your brain offers that well but I can't I can't really go that um, go any line because this is where I am I really feel stuck and if you think that I can't do that then you will perpetuate that belief of also not being able to do that. So that's why if you're already in this line, ask yourself, what if there was another way? What if there were other options? Because feeling stuck is really lack of options, right? So we're telling ourselves that there is no other option, this or that. And whenever you give yourself the option of thinking, right? Um, so you are in the feeling of stuck, but you're giving yourself the option of thinking, huh, what if there are other options available? What if this feeling that I'm having of feeling stuck is coming from my own mind? And 
I wonder where it's coming from. Like getting literally curious as to the mechanics of your mind and thinking. And once you realize that it's coming from your own mind, from your own um, beliefs, then you start going into the other line of asking yourself, okay, so if it is the case that I am believing something to be true because of which I am feeling stuck, for instance, you might be believing that there are no options or I'm going to fail or uh, this is not going to work out or um, even if I go somewhere else, it's not going to work out. If you're believing those things to be true, then obviously you're not allowing yourself to see other options and you're not allowing to think about other possibilities to solve the problem, right? It's a bit like a very uh, tunnel vision of this is what it is. There is no other way. And then we know in life that even if in situations where you think that there's only this way or that way, there's always another way. We just haven't come up with it or we just haven't thought about it before. So now we're going to the other line of allowing possibilities to exist or allowing possibilities of hmm, what if I am really thinking this and that's why I feel stuck? What if I am believing this to be true? Do I really want to be believing this to be true? Or do I really want to keep thinking this way? Or do I really want to give myself other options? Right? What are the options available? If your brain goes into, well, the worst case scenario will be this and this, go for it and explore it. Like I always say that allow your brain to go to its worst say case scenarios whenever it offers you to. Because if you stop the brain from doing certain things, it may get rebellious after, no? So that's why go and uh, go to the, to the worst case scenarios of what if it, yeah, that, that is true. What if um, you go to the worst case and this is what will happen? Because for instance, my brain, whenever I get stuck or I feel stuck, my brain says, you see, this will never work. Or do you see, you see, you've lost everything. Now you'll be living outside um, uh, homeless or something, right? So you can see that my brain has such a, um, a power to disqualify everything I have lived until now or everything that I've experienced, all the skills and all the qualifications, everything that I have gathered so far in my life. My brain has the power to make all of that disappear in a second and that's okay because my brain has that power to think in those ways and it's fine just because i think it, it doesn't mean that that's how it's going to happen it's just my brain's way of trying to protect me and that's okay right so that's why whenever you go to the worst case scenario allow it and see what happens and then once you do that then you start asking. So when then you start uh, slowly by slowly um, disrupting the, the, the thought pattern or the feeling of stuck, right? You start disrupting it little by little by asking questions of what if there were other options? What if it was possible this way? What if it was possible that way? And then also start... Um, looking at how you might have been until now uh, self-pitying or blaming others and looking at and saying what if you are in charge and you don't need to be in self-pity if you don't want to because for me whenever I feel stuck I immediately rely on uh, self-pity um, I used to rely on uh, blame meaning blaming others if, if it wasn't for this if it wasn't for that or if it wasn't for these people, right? I stopped doing that, um, thankfully, because I know that there is no out, there is no, um, uh, there is no really uh, uh, a result from blaming others, unless of course I'm reporting um, about uh, illegal actions that they may have done to me, or I'm reporting about 
to get um, a litigation or to get settlement. But other than that, I don't really find useful to blame others. So I don't do that. But I, I know that uh, very often my brain wants to go to the self-pity land of, you see, this is a poor you, right? Not believing myself and not believing uh, my experiences and not believing my powers, but just sitting in the self-pity. And now I'm learning to get away from that as well. So that's why whenever we are um, in the stages of questioning things, right? Questioning um, whether feeling stuck is really necessary, whether um, how we might be uh, putting ourselves in the situation of feeling stuck and how uh, we might be believing those beliefs that are optional. So once we get into that, destroying the uh, the the feeling or the uh, dismantling the feeling of stuck and the pattern of stuck once we're getting into that we also can now look at it um, uh, look at how we are uh, blaming or maybe self-pitying and how we're dismantling that as well and then once we do that then we start coming to a conclusion that all of what we were doing in, um, in feeling stuck is staying in fear, fear of the unknown, fear of uh, the change, uh, fear of not knowing what's going to happen, or uh, fear of losing things, right? So once all we recognize those fears that were coming up um, every stage of the way in uh, feeling stuck, and then once we uh, distill our curiosity of uh, what may happen in case of the worst case scenario, once we've um, thought that out, once we learn that we don't really need to be in the self-pity land or we don't really need to be in the blaming mode, but rather taking in charge of creating options for us. So once we create those options for us, only in our minds for now, no need to act on them if we don't want to. Just start creating options in our minds of, I could do this, I could do that, I could do this, or I could just be this person or whatever it is that we want to do, start creating options. In other words, um, removing the attachment from uh, feeling stuck and, uh, and recognizing the fears and... Um, accepting those fears, looking at those fears, being gentle with ourselves throughout the, the process, and also um, telling ourselves that we can treat ourselves well, no matter what happens in the down, down in the line. So once we recognize all of this, and once we start um, calming ourselves and creating options and creating a bit of freedom within us, then we can start telling, so what's next? What can we do next? Right? Whatever happened and happened, now what are we going to do next? How do we want to move on? How do we want to move out of our feeling stuck? And what will help us in the process? Right? What will help us in the process of not being stuck anymore and moving to actually the the other side of the spectrum of having a lot of options and deciding which one to take because once we recognize like this is an exercise that we can do even um on regular basis because i'm not saying that once you know how to get out of your feeling stuck it's, uh, it doesn't mean that it may not happen again. It may happen again, but important that you know the, 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 the approach of how to get yourself out of it, right? And the, to sum up, the best ways to get yourself out of it is to recognize that this is the feeling that you're generating. This is the feeling is coming from certain thoughts and certain beliefs that you're holding to be true that you're not really questioning, right? Like there are no options. 
And then once you start questioning, once you start allowing your brain to go through the, all the worst scenarios and asking yourself how you will be dealing with those scenarios, and then also recognizing that you don't need to be in self-pity or blaming mode, you can just start being uh, solution oriented and asking yourself, how do you want to be in charge of the situation? How do you want to get out of it and create options for yourself? And once you do that, then you start having seeing those options. You also start seeing your fears, but also seeing those options. And then even though the fears are there, they are not going to be so powerful anymore because you also have the freedom. So it, it, it will feel like sometimes as if you're holding both at the same time. So fear is the more there, but also freedom of knowing that you can do this, of knowing, trusting yourself that no matter what, you can always rely on trusting yourself. And I, I really think that that's the best um, best gift we can give ourselves is whenever we are in the mode of feeling stuck knowing and recognizing that you also have the option of trusting yourself and relying on um, you being in charge rather than letting others be in charge so to say and you relying on you knowing how to create options for yourself rather than staying in the mode of, I don't have any options. Because truth be told, there's always options. So having said this, thank you so much, my dears. I hope you will have an amazing weekend. And if you want to work on this uh, topic of feeling stuck and how to make yourself unstuck, and learn your power to unstuck yourself, then absolutely you let me know. And I will be happy to coach you on this and many other matters. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful weekend.